Hello one and all, this is Dago Seda, pretty snazzy walkthrough, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. This is an A rank walkthrough, and we're going to be beating this game as much as we can, and as fast as we can. Not as much as we can, because we had to skip a couple of things and return- Actually, not well, we're not going to basically go out of our way to collect certain items. But over there, I, I, I have to go over this way, back to the area where all the drain demos were. But my health is a little low, and I never trust myself going in here because I always feel like I'm going to die or something something awful. Because I have terrible luck with these things. Like, see right there, as in I started turning the wrong way, and it's like... <sighs> yeah, so these guys, they randomly start getting really fast at random moments. And also, they can jump, so you have to be careful around them. And here, we're going down to the the substation. I don't really know why it's a substation. I don't see any subs there. My sub, I'm assuming that meant like subway. I don't see any sort of train like vehicle anywhere. Alright, and here there's like one of, there's like two possible ways these, the zombies over here can be set up. They can either be like this where they're all kind of far away or either that, or they can all start really close to you and they swarm you the second you get out of the elevator, as some people might say. And this this is part where the game really started annoying me. So I th I'm thinking to myself, okay, yeah, I brought the shotgun for this because there's a huge like horde of them here and stuff. But no, all all it brings me is suffering. I'm about to shoot him, but now he ducks to shoot his acid vomit at me, which does hardly anything. And I somehow, because his head ducked, he managed to hit the guy behind me. And here, like normal zombies, they would try to grab me, but no, they're all trying to. Con to spit on me all at the same time, and it's really confused the crap out of me. Like, oh, screw it. I'm just running away from you guys. They really ticked me off. And if you notice that little red thing on the wall, that's exactly the same as one of them exploding barrels. They Literally, they do the same exact thing, except that the one on the wall, I've, with my experience, I've noticed they're slightly harder to hit. And it also has the same issue as, the, as you might have had with other explosive things where if an enemy is too close to it you lock onto the enemy instead of the explosive no matter what you're pointing your gun at yeah so there I decided um, I might need a little extra inventory space so I only took one of the red herbs with me which frankly it really didn't matter because I was I, I'm pretty sure by the end of the game I've had more red herbs than green herbs so it's I I overdid it with red herbs and I didn't need to heal as much as I thought I would Alright, so there's two doors, and one of them opens up at, uh, I, I forgot the exact number, but you have to get it around there, get it to 120, and it opens up that door. The other one opens up at, I think, 40, and you just, just type in the button combination I did to get into there. So I figured right now I'll just open up both of them. So, red, blue, 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 I think? Yeah, red, yeah. And then it opens up that door. The one door has the fuse in it, which is one of the items you need to get. The other one has the other weapon. Like, earlier we got the magnum, and the other one has the grenade launcher, which is what we want. We need this grenade launcher. Like, oh my god, it is definitely one of the most important items in the game. Alright, so here you're facing another one of those live decisions. I think if you do the latter, you end up fighting... I know, if you don't do the, if you do the first one, I think it's pop, you end up fighting Nemesis here. I'm not entirely sure. But I found this one to be much easier, and it plays one of my probably favorite ways to see a zombie die, where you put them there and they all gorily explode into guts and la ha ha ha. If you're a sadistic jerk like me, you would love that. And in here we have Dare Fuse. Fuse. And those of you, I don't know if I explained it yet, but what we're collecting these items for is we're trying to get the the train car where we met Carlos and um, Nikolai and Mikhail on. We're trying to get that working, but there's three parts missing, so naturally, with the big help they are, they send Jill out to go do it by themselves. And here's an extra item spot. I was thinking about taking it, then I changed my mind, then I changed my mind again, and yeah, there's these little moments of indecision are really what kills your time. My time is still is two hours. I'll just leave it at that. So I'm not gonna... Yeah, so here, I, I brought the shotgun ammo because I planned on wasting it. Uh, though I keep I keep at least one clip of ammo with me for just in case I needed to use it, but I didn't, fortunately. And that little bit of shotgun ammo, it kind of helps me a bit later in the game. And I don't know why I didn't heal there. I definitely should have. But, oh well. 
And now we're going to have to head all the way back to downtown, actually. It's one of the only instances where the game really makes you backtrack that much. And usually I was... I don't know why I'm like... I'm not quite in danger yet, so I figured eh, I can just stay here. There, I'm like, okay, I'm hit. Screw it, I'm healing. But the game, this game really doesn't make you backtrack very much. This is the really the closest thing it does to backtracking. And here, I'm pretty sure I made a wrong turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm so used to going in through that door that I went the wrong way, so I had to check the map there for a second. Usually, I don't. All right, so don't, don't hate on me for that. I am, I am quite useful. And one observation I've made about life... Plastic wrap is the devil. Like, seriously. Especially when it's in a... Some sort of container, containment unit box. That the only method of cutting it is... This little serrated edge. That is all next to useless. Now they, these zombies, they weren't here the first time. I believe the first time they might have been dogs. or Either dogs or an empty corridor. But they're not much difficult at all. Not very difficult at all. And on the way back... We come back from the downtown area again. There's going to be one of the zombies are going to pop out of a car and surprise us, but we don't fall for their tricks. So we're going to put the grenade launcher away because really at this point we do not need it at all. Because one, we're saving ammo and that's what we're all about in Resident Evil 3. Conserving ammo, except maybe with our handgun because I can really care less about how much handgun ammo I have because I always seem to have way more than I need. Alright, so run past these meaningless hounds. Yes, let's call them the meaningless hounds. And then we're going to be going back to that area where there was the fire. And I said you'd come back to it later. That's when you need the wrench for. Because there was a fire hose down one of the alleyways. And you need the wrench to remove it. And that's the last thing we're going to need that wrench for. We can get rid of that and free up a spot in our inventory. Yes, because that's what we want. Oh, Jill, run. Now that you're wearing that inappropriate police uniform, the crime rate has really skyrocketed. Yes. Jill, come arrest me. Oh, ooh, Jill, arrest me. Ooh, you have handcuffs. La, 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 la. Bunch of perverted jokes that people can make. That's why I... This is actually one of the better costumes. The other costume is like a disco thing, a biker thing, her Resident Evil 1 stars uniform... And one the costume of someone who I believe it's from Devil May Cry, which is another Capcom game as far as I know. And that one is really inappropriate, but it's very, I don't want to say revealing, but it's very tight and not much on the legs. I don't know. Use that to your imagination. But okay, guys, we are back in downtown, which means this is, I mean, uptown. Why do I keep saying downtown? Oh, well. So we're back in the uptown area, which means different video. All right, guys. Have a nice day. See ya.